You asked for it. Everyone should know how to make this steak. And here's three ways to do it at home and in a restaurant. Nobody does it like this. That bleed. This is divine. That tastes like meat. Thank you. And no, I'm telling myself, I can't believe it. <laughs> Mushroom. Oh, man. Dude, that is so good. Aaron Franklin, King of Barbecue. With over three decades of working in the food industry, the last 10 years I've been obsessed with making these mushroom steaks and have developed the pressing technique. In this episode, I'm gonna show three different ways to make the mushrooms like bleeding steaks. I'll share the best ways to do this at home and advanced level how to do in a restaurant if you wanna blow your customers away. The mushrooms I'm using today, I grew from my own mushroom kit from Marvelous Mushrooms here in the UK. If you're a mushroom grower or you know where to get them, list them in the comments and yeah, get in touch. I wanna cook some more mushrooms. This first method we're gonna use is the pressing method. So I'm gonna heat up a cast iron pan, a little bit of oil, let the mushroom get used to the pan in the heat. And I'm just gonna rest the cast iron on top. So it's really subtle and it just slowly gets used to it. And then I'll start slowly applying a little bit more pressure here and there. Turning the mushroom, checking out, make sure I'm not burning it. You gotta keep the heat on like a medium high heat. Now it is this technique, the pressing, that helps compress the mushroom into the meaty density texture that we're looking for. I added a splash of water to help create the steam, to create a little bit more heat to help along the cooking process. Now because we're making this into a bleeding steak, I'm only gonna cook it so much. I wanna get it to the thickness I want, and then I'm gonna stop the cooking, put it into a shallow casserole dish like I have here, and we're gonna create the marinade. I'll list the full ingredient list in the description, and this is the marinade that we'll be using throughout the whole video. So this is the marinade you wanna use. It consists of beetroot powder, red wine, a little bit of soy sauce, some herbs and spices, and Frankie has plenty to say. To get all the ingredients into a bowl, I like to use boiling water to help the spices bloom, enhance their flavor. Whisk a little bit of olive oil in there for fat because mushrooms have no fat and I need that mouthfeel. And then I'm gonna take the marinade, a couple scoops, put it into a Ziploc bag, squeeze the air out as best I can, pop it in the refrigerator to let it rest for at least 15, 20, 30 minutes. Now to do both of these methods side by each, this one I'm gonna do is the raw method. So adding a raw whole mushroom right to the Ziploc bag, adding the marinade to it, squeezing out the air like we did before. But here you still have to press it. We still have to compress that mushroom. So I'm just gonna hand press it as much as I possibly can. It won't stay down as well as I do in the cast iron pan, but it does a pretty good job. And I'm just gonna let this marinate for again, another 15 minutes. Now I had a bunch of smaller pieces, so I'm just gonna make steak tips with the same marinade, same process. I'm gonna do it raw, chop them all up, pop them into a Ziploc, add some onion, add the marinade. But these ones I'm gonna freeze and we'll save that for a later video to see how they come out frozen. I've actually never frozen any mushrooms. I tend to eat them all right away. While everything's marinating, I'm gonna head outside, light the grill. Frankie's been bugging me. I take this Kong, fill it with peanut butter. There you go. And I also freeze those Kongs with the peanut butter. It takes her an extra long time. Gives, keeps her busy for a little while. Take out the marinated mushroom steaks. For the raw ones, I'm gonna be pressing them and pressing out the extra liquid. Now there's a lot of liquid, it absorbs all of them. These things are like sponges. So as much as I possibly can, I'm gonna squeeze out that liquid. This is the opposite of meat. Meat, you don't wanna be squeezing and get making it dry. These mushrooms, I do. I want to get the liquid out, otherwise they're gonna to be too mushy and I need that texture just right. Now for the fun part, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper on top, both sides, and then bring them out to the grill. Let's get grilling.
I'm gonna use the rest of the marinade to make a natural sauce. Just add a little bit of fresh thyme. Unlike animal products, there's no cross-contamination. That sauce is gonna be delicious. And I had made some garlic bread butter, which is literally just bread and vegan butter, rolled up frozen into cobalt butter on top of the steaks to flavor and also toast the bread. So we're gonna start by slicing the raw one. So this is the one we did not press. Definitely looks medium well. It's not as pink as I would like to see it. Towards the middle, it gets more medium looking, a little bit more pink. That's not what I want. I want the entire thing to be a medium rare look. And just to note, this doesn't affect how juicy it is. It's still the same juicy, still delicious flavor. It's just the coloring. I want that pink color. One that I pressed, and this is much pinker. Look at that, it's gorgeous inside. It looks like a medium rare, super juicy, tastes delicious. This is what I'm looking for. I am super happy with these ones. Now, no matter whether you marinate this or not, it is so juicy. The mushrooms are naturally juicy, especially when you press them. They just retain that water and you can cook the shit out of a mushroom. Honestly, I've done this so many different times. Now the restaurant methods, we're gonna be using a vac pack. So I have access to a chamber vac at restaurant and this is how I do it. The same similar marinade. Vacuum seal it, pop it in the fridge for a few days. I've even frozen them. They come out good. If you freeze them, they're a little bit more tender and you just gotta be more careful. They absorb all of that marinade, all that flavoring. And now I'm just gonna press this to get it to the place where I want it to be. Now, whether you're a vegan, whether you eat meat or not, it doesn't matter to me. This is delicious food. It's culinary innovation. And if you're a chef, take note. Have this on your menu. It'll blow people away. As an option, it serves that primal craving. Even the biggest meat eater will love this. These ones we pressed first, whereas the other ones we did, we just did was from raw. This is from press, just like we did at the home version. Marinated, cooked on the hot stove, popped on the grill, delicious. They come out so good when they're chamber vac like that. I mean, it's just that extra professional quality. It's so freaking delicious. And here's what they look like when they're not marinated and just on their own. They have a more of a white meat texture, more like pork, but still that steaky quality, super tender. The texture is amazing. 
cooked this for Hot Luck Fest. We cooked over 200 pounds of them, served them to, well, I mean, we were the only ones serving not animal products, so they were a huge hit. So good, I can't recommend them enough. If you make these, tag me, tag Wicked Kitchen, let me know what you think. This one right here, it looks like a brain. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking actually. But just marinated from raw, not vacuum sealed at all. This came out probably the best, but it's also the most dangerous to cook because, you know, you're adding that liquid with oil and hot flames, it's gonna flare up a lot. So I suggest you do that in a restaurant. Maybe not at home, it's probably not the best idea. But it does come out amazing. And this is the one that went viral on TikTok, on Instagram, all of them. This is the way to do that viral. The marinade that everybody's been asking for, this is the video for it. So if you like this, give a thumbs up, subscribe for more. We have tons of amazing content coming. I'm trying to get everything off my mind and on to this film. Appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you soon. This is freaking delicious. This is the mushroom. Oh, good.